Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing a second bridal trial makeup look. And as you guys know, I'm going to be doing my own makeup for my wedding and I just don't know exactly what I want to do um, as far as like an eye look. So I do have a bunch of screenshots because um, a lot of you guys in the last video that I posted two months ago gave me a ton of great recommendations. So thank you guys so much for the comments and different ideas and everything like that because, you know, some of you guys have been married, some of you guys have some regrets or some things you wish you did, whatever may be and I am so receptive and open to hearing all of that so if this look isn't exactly how you envisioned it or something like that let me know down in the comments um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys like a little swatch of the fabric that I'm wearing I'll probably post it somewhere on this video um and um also some ideas that I'm going to be kind of basing it off of so if that is something that you're interested in then please keep on watching Okay, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, but as far as a wedding look, so Color Du Jour on Instagram is like the most amazing bridal makeup artist in my personal opinion. Um, she's based out of like Houston, Texas, and she's just so amazing. So this is one of her looks. And this girl is absolutely stunning. And this eye look is kind of similar to something that I'm going to be going off of. Um, I'm probably going to change the lip because I don't want a glossy lip. I did a glossy lip in the last video. and today's video, I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. Um, and then there's this one. And this one like they're just all so freaking stunning and with her she either does like a black waterline or she does a white waterline which I think really adds to that kind of open fresh awake type of look so I'm um, not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing um, as far as the waterline I have a couple of options right here in front of me but I'm not really sure but um, a couple of messages or, e or emails a couple of comments melanie johnson said gorgeous but that forehead highlight is a no it looks like eyes on your forehead and your skin is looking grayish it's your special day so i'm gonna be honest either the powder grayed you out or the foundation shade it's a gorgeous look so um in this video i didn't take anything personal because i took it as you guys being open and honest with me and jack actually hates when i highlight my forehead and i just cannot get out of the habit let me just tell you guys now like i cannot get out of that habit um that foundation that i use was the ColourPop foundation and i do need a deeper darker shade so it does make me look a little lighter um so i definitely got that from a lot of you guys's comments um and then pages of beauty she said i wouldn't not for bridal but the look is beautiful and a couple of you guys kept saying um like the crease so miss w hunter 118 said i kind of wish you'd do a softer look with the crease color i love everything you do don't hate me but it's always with the harsh slash dark crease hoping i'm making sense and not coming off mean so that kind of seemed like the consensus with you guys um as as far as Adira Vanessa also said, like, am I wanting a dark, dramatic or a softer look? Maybe try a halo look. So there's, like, a ton of different, like, comments that you guys were giving me, and they all kind of were the same. So something a little softer, something a little more bridal, and uh, maybe not as deep or dark of a crease. So that's what I'm kind of kind of going to try to do today. It's so hard because I'm so heavy-handed when it comes to products, so so hard but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lid and set that down I'm just gonna use my ColourPop no filter concealer of course and then we're gonna get started on the eyes okay you guys so I have three palettes that I'm gonna be working out of uh, the two of them are the Jaclyn Hill vault collection this one is armed and gorgeous and this one is ring the alarm and then I have the beauty bakery um, game of cones furry of the oven eyeshadow palette which I'll be using cake stir out of this palette this palette is just all shimmers so um, not ever a palette that I would personally pick up it was sent to me so thank you to beauty bakery for sending this to me um, but it is uh, it does have a shimmer like a lot of shimmers in it and I'm gonna be using this one so um, my wedding dress kind of has actually I'll show you guys now because I'll probably forget to add the 
overlay um but it is very 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 white um i just i'll just zoom it in where is that picture oh my goodness okay here we go so it's very 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 white and um yeah so it's really white so I kind of wanted to go something a little bit like whiter on the eye so I'm going to take uh, I think yeah yeah I'm gonna take the ring the alarm palette I'm gonna take a mug shot which is I'm probably gonna mix mug shot and rush so these two and I am going to use a JH30 brush. It's one of my favorite crease brushes. And just kind of place this into the crease. It's going to be my transition shade. And we're going for a softer look. So I'm not going to pile this on too much. But I do want to still make sure I have a nice transition. I'm so like nervous because I'm so used to just piling stuff on. And to go for softer, it's just going to be like, girl, can you even do it? <laughs> All right, that's as soft as I'm going to get. Let me put a little bit more out here. So what are we going to do? <laughs> okay, so for the brown, I'm going to start with Smooth Criminal right here. This is out of the Armed and Gorgeous palette, by the way. And I'm taking a JH32 brush, which is a little more pointed. And this is going to go into the crease. So this palette would be really pretty. This is very similar to my wedding tones as far as like the golds um, because I'm doing like that mustard kind of yellow color. So um, very, very similar in that sense. But I think I'm going to stop right here just like this. And um, I think I might end up cutting out my crease. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut out my crease because she does it on hers and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm going to look at the picture one more time because I really like that, that makeup. She did a really good job. Yeah, and it looks like she kind of cut out her crease. So I'm going to take my ColourPop concealer as well as my Dose of Colors concealer brush and just carve out the crease. And I'm not going to do like a crazy carve or anything either. Just small. Enough to just cut out the lid space. Okay, so just a little cut here. I'm going to go back into the Armed and Gorgeous palette. I'm going to take VIP, which is a stark white eyeshadow. And I'm going to place this all over the lid. I didn't set that down or anything because I want it to really stick. And I'm just using the white as a base because, like I mentioned, my dress is very, very white. So I think that using, like, a white eyeshadow might be, like, the best bet. But I don't really know. So we're just going to... um. We're just going to try some things out, I guess. So this white is white, but it like kind of has like a little sparkle to it. And it's also kind of like, um, like silvery. And I don't like I don't have any silver accessories because I'm going more so with like gold tones so so yeah so I have that down now I'm gonna go in with game of cones and take the shade cakester again 
well not again but I'm going to take that shade on the other side of this brush and I'm going to just pop this over the top to just kind of tone it down a little bit and give it a little bit more of like a champagne golden hue yeah because I don't want it to be like white white This is very, very, very buttery and pigmented. So kind of like that. Then it's looking like I'm going to have to take a little bit more of the brown and just go over the edges a little bit just to kind of blend that out because right now it's very harsh. And I'm just going to take a JH35 for that. So for liner, I'm going to take my Dose of Colors liner. This is a Set the Tone liner in Shady. And I'm just going to do a line straight across my lash line just to kind of hide the lashes. I'm not going to do like a wing or anything. I'm not kind of going for that. But um, I'm using a Sigma Small Angled. This is an E65 brush. And I'm just going to go straight across. And you can smoke this out if you want to like to make it less harsh so I'm actually going to take a little bit of smooth criminal on this Sigma E20 shader brush just like right out here just to kind of soften them a little bit just a little actually I might just go I don't want it to be that harsh. So I'm just running the brush over it. Then I'm going to go ahead and do um, lashes and mascara for lashes. I'm going to pop on the Whiplash today. This is from More by Tiffany. More lashes. More lashes by Tiffany. <laughs> and I'm going to pop these on and go ahead and do my other eye. And then we will do the face. So, you guys, so I decided to start intermittent fasting because I want to lose some weight for the wedding. Um, I started at, uh, when I first weighed myself, when we first started working out, I was 191. And then I, um, it was Christmas break, so you know how Christmas goes. It was, it was like, yeah, it was Christmas because it was December 19th when I first weighed myself. Then Christmas came and everything, and I gained, like, a pound and a half. And so I started intermittent fasting. I started, like, working out last week. Um, we did three workouts last week, and that was kind of it. They were just, like, 10-minute workouts, kind of like when Jack gets off of work, just kind of work out, do that type of thing. And uh, I started intermittent fasting last night, or yesterday. So I ate from... I actually didn't end up eating until like 4 o'clock. I ate at 4 and then I ate again at like, I don't know, like 6. I made myself eat again at 6 because that was like the only meal that I had at 4. Um, and it was some soup mix and it didn't, it wasn't like one cup. So one scoop was a serving size and it was only like 200 calories. So I ended up only eating like 300, no, 400 calories yesterday. So... I starved myself pretty much like I was dying last night I ended up not being able to sleep at all so I was tired when I woke up like like after I got done eating I was tired um but I didn't I didn't take a nap I ended up staying up till five o'clock in the morning like my body would just not shut down at all Finally got to sleep. Woke up at around 11.40-ish today. 
Um, I had breakfast, so I ate, I started again at 12, so I ate breakfast at 12. Um, I just had like two eggs with some spinach, and I had some, um, I had some bacon in the air fryer so that was only like 330 calories and i just drank a bottle of water i took a shot of apple cider vinegar and almost fucking died almost died <laughs> and then um i drank i drank a full bottle of water and now i weighed myself after breakfast and i'm at 190 pounds and i'm like i lost two and a half pounds like how the hell did that happen i feel skinny honey skinny <laughs> So I'm just, I'm hoping that this works. So who knows? But to prime my skin, I'm going to use the Cover FX Mattifying Primer just in the nose and the forehead area. And then I'm going to use a different primer um, on the rest of my face. But yeah, you guys, I am uh, I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm hoping that, you know, the next three months, if I keep on this, like eating from 12 to 8, or, or 11 to 8 that um that my uh, body will really really react to it and I'll lose like 10 pounds like ideally I would like to if I'm 190 I would love to lose like 40 pounds but um I don't know I don't know if that's gonna happen oh I'm using the blurring one now um but that's ideally is to lose about I want to get down to about 150 and that would be amazing for me but um for the wedding I've got three months so I wish I could lose like 10 pounds a month like if I could lose 30 pounds I'd be 160 and that'll be amazing that's what my mom said um that's my her favorite weight size on me i just want to lose my stomach so i'm trying to eat well and i'm going to do some workouts after i get done filming and then do another workout tonight when jacket's off so no excuses you know but i'm trying so yeah let me know your stories with intermittent fasting so now I'm going to take my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. And I just use this as my um, like powder before foundation. So um, I really like to do this when I know I'm going to be out all day. And, you know, my skin gets oily in certain areas. So it just kind of keeps the foundation or keeps the uh, powder at bay. Or the oil, I'm sorry. Keeps the oil at bay. So just going over all the areas, making sure they're nice and powdered. And this will really lock your foundation in. I'm so excited for the wedding, you guys. Like it could be here at any moment. I just ordered Jack and Derek's tie because Two of the guys, for foundation, I'm wearing the Milani one. I'm going to mix spiced almond with golden toffee. Mostly spiced almond. Um, two of the guys are wearing the bow tie that comes with the tuxedo. So, um, it's the navy one. So, two of them will be wearing navy since the girls' dresses are navy. And then, my gr uh, his best man is going to wear a slate blue tie and my maid of honor is going to wear a or a dusty blue and he she's gonna wear a dusty blue dress so um yeah they're gonna look really good and i just ordered jack's tie jack's wearing um a navy and the golden yellow that's our color he's wearing that in a tie so it's gonna be navy Dusty blue and navy and blue. Navy and gold, I mean. They're just going to look so handsome. Like, I know they're going to look so handsome. So by using just one pump of... Um, I use one and a half pumps of spiced almond. And I use about... I use about a half of a pump of golden toffee because it gives me a nice amount of warmth but it's not overly red and I actually might have used a little too much <laughs> today but it all comes together 
and I don't believe it has any SPF. Someone else said, said make sure it doesn't have SPF in it, and I don't think it does. So that's good. Okay, so for concealer, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter in Dark 42. And I'm just going to highlight. Okay, so for setting powders, I'm going to mix two. I'm going to first use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder, um, and then I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery No Flower powder and just go over the top because this one's a little more yellow, and I don't mind it, but it kind of like brighter as well, so I'm just going to mix. I've never mixed setting powder, so I'm kind of excited to see how it works. So now I put that on. I'm just gonna take some of this, and this is in yellow, but it's way lighter. It's way, way, way lighter. Yeah. Okay, so now that I'm looking and feeling crazy, I'm gonna take my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. They did come out with a darker one, you guys, and that is so awesome. So um, if you're a little bit darker than me, or even a lot of bit, they came out with a darker shade in this contour palette, which is amazing. So now they have kind of like a medium one, they have a dark one, and they have like a deepest dark one, which is going to be great. Because I need to pick that up for my deeper, darker clients that can't use this. So Gonna, it looks like it's going to be a really good shade. So now that I have that on, I also like to take a little bit of this Becca Multitasking Powder. This is in Deep Bronze. And I'm also using Morphe M530. And I just like to take this like right into the hollow. And just kind of use this as like adding definition. So to brush all the powder away, I just use this JH05. Um, it's just really stiff, and I just love it. I don't really like to use it as like contour. Excuse me, contouring. So gonna use this to get rid of all the powder. Now I'm just gonna contour my nose. Just oh so slightly. There are some days when I feel like I really contour my nose, like I really snatch it. And then there are days where I'm just like, girl, you could do better than this. So for blush, I'm going to use none other than my Black Radiance True Complexion, or Toasted, this is an artesian colored bake blush, in Toasted Almond. And this is my favorite. As you guys know, it's just so good. It just gives a nice flush to the cheeks. It's the most amazing blush ever. <laughs> and I just can just go over this blush like and not feel like I'm just like overpowering it. It's just so pretty. 
And for highlighter, I'm using this um, Stardust Powder from Worthy, and it's in the shade Midas. And I'm going to pop this onto the cheekbones. And I'm using a JH09 brush. Couldn't help myself, so I just did it right over my eyebrow. Because <laughs> I know how much y'all hate it. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. So I, of course, have Mirame. And I'm just going to put a little bit... Just like right on the top. Okay, so while I'm letting the lashes dry, I'm going to pop on this Pacifica eyeliner. This is in Natural Minerals, I think. It's... Like, if I swatch it, it's, like, the exact, like, dusty blue, slate blue kind of color. So, this is going to be, like, my pop of color. So, this color would match, like, perfectly with the shoes that I'm getting. I can't decide if I want to get, like... These shoes from Dillard's, they're about like $100. And like I want to get them, but I kind of don't because they're so expensive. And I'm only going to wear them like once because I'm not a heels person. But on Lulu's, there is a cheaper pair of slate blue heels that might go better. I don't know. Lashes are on. Mascara is on. I didn't put anything underneath of the waterline or lower lash line. I just kind of left it blank. I'm going to use this CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist. It's for all day wear. Um, it says locks makeup in place all day. Seals your look so it doesn't. it's smudge proof. Transfer proof and humidity proof all day. Microfine mist has a lightweight breathable feel suitable for all skin types. So we're going to see. Oh, it's not open. We're going to see. And it's at that point in my makeup routine where my nose is running. Uh, I actually kind of like this look now that it's kind of coming together. I love the pop of blue on the lower lash line. I think I'm going to do that for my wedding day. But I have two more looks that I'm kind of wanting to do. Um, one is like an all matte look. And then another one is another shimmery look with that with that um, shimmer thing from, um, from Morphe. That shimmer glitter eyeshadow. So, still not sure yet though. But I'm gonna go ahead and spray. It smells really good. Next, I'm gonna apply just a little bit of the dewy finish because I love this one. And then I always go back in with my highlighter after I spray it with a setting spray. Just like right on the tops. Just so it gives it just like a little, see, like a little extra. And for inner corner, I'm going to just pop a little bit of VIP. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of um, Benefits Gimme Brow. This is in the shade number 5. And I just use this to kind of brush up my hairs to give my eyebrows a little more like hair-like appearance. I 
Okay, you guys, so the last thing is lips. Um, I'm going to use my Clean Color Lip Liner in the shade Chestnut, of course, and just line my lips. And I am going for something more nude, matte, because the last time I did glossy. So first I'm going to put on this one. I don't know the shade of it. It's a Joseph Colors liquid lipstick. It's kind of like a brown. Really upset I don't know the color. And then I'm going to take a little bit of knock on wood, which is a little lighter. That's just going to go. Ooh, I like this color. With this lip liner? Oh yeah. Ooh. I might actually like this color more than I like Knock on Wood. Or um Starfish from ABH. Ooh, pretty. Okay, you guys, what do we think about this look? How do we feel? I think that the blue and the lips are my favorite. Like, I'm not sure about the eyes. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like, looking in the mirror, I feel bridal. Maybe it's the lashes. Maybe it's the lashes because I wasn't sure what lash to go with because, um... I just didn't know. I don't know. Like, this is a pretty look, though. Like, looking in the mirror, I'm like, yes. Like, this is really pretty. But do I see myself in this? Like, I don't know. I feel like I just need to keep trying until I'm like, you know, that, like, oh, my gosh. Like, this is giving me, oh, my gosh, because it's a gorgeous look. But I don't know if I could see this with my dress on. I don't know. But it's definitely a contender. <laughs> Like I said, I have two more looks that I want to do. It's January, so that means February and March are the last two months that I will be doing a bridal series, and then I'll have to come to a conclusion. Um, I'll probably ask you guys on, like, Instagram or here on YouTube, you know, which look was your favorite and kind of gather and kind of decide which look I want to do. So I'm not really sure, but this look is pretty. It is pretty, but I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's the eyeliner up top. I don't know. Like, it's just, something's amiss. You know what I mean? But I do love my complexion because these, these are all the products that I love. Like, all the products that I love. So, no problems with that. Um, yeah. This look, though, or this lip. Ooh, yes. Give it to me, Lon. Give it to me. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for all your honest opinions and comments and everything like that. Give it to me down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know your thoughts, what you like, what you don't like. I really like this high bun right now. I'm like really digging the high bun. You can't really see it because I'm up so high, but like I'm really feeling the high bun. Like really feeling it. But anyways... I love you guys so much. I'm about to go work out and eat some lunch, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.